All right, what's good with y'all, man? We back with another video, man. Make sure y'all subscribe and uh, hit the like button. Yeah, you know, Mr. Prince Riley's here. Ain't nothing to fear. Keeping it a hundred. You know, y'all you know, feel me? Y'all feel me? And um, yeah, we about to get right into the video. It's toast and twelve year old little army of toxic losers. Literally stop spamming. You knew in the chat, bro. Live streaming has always had a culture of toxicity, whether it's coming from the streamer. Suck my, you ugly ass bitch. But shut the fuck up, bitch. You're so stupid. Fuck you, dude. Or the audience. Die! 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 Love you, Speed. You are. Die! Hold on, hold on, chat. Nah, that's nah, that's crazy though. That's crazy, chat. Hold on. Nah, bro. They walling off that one. Twitch, being the largest platform for live streaming, grew 83% in 2020 because of everyone stuck at home. Other live streaming platforms had big growth during this time as well. And a number of streamers have become millionaires during this time. But in order to make those millions, there's a bit of a sacrifice they have to make. My name is Patrick TC. Make sure you're drinking water while you're watching this video. In 2021, Aiden Ross and I Show Speed became two of the biggest streamers on the internet. By the way, Speed streams on YouTube. Both streamers have somewhat similar styles, being an average guy streaming and chatting to their audience in their bedroom, while occasionally playing video games or reacting to their content. Also, a big part of Aiden, Speed, and many other streamers' content is reading TTS messages. TTS stands for text-to-speech, and it's when viewers can pay a certain amount of money and a robot voice will read their message they type to the streamer and to the audience. So what's all the hype about? Well, things can get out of control pretty quickly. Okay, so maybe right off the bat you're thinking this is fake, like they're playing some sort of character. And I might agree with you, but honestly, I don't know. Because a lot of the times it seems like these creators are being controlled by their chat. Why am I, why am I not loved by my own chat, bro? It just makes me like, not want to fucking stream. You were just filming L's when I was reacting to this NBA video that seemed very interesting. But it can get even worse. I say you're really inspirational guy and I look up to all this playing you bald-headed midget fuck. Stop calling me that! You would imagine that most of the people watching these streamers are fans. So why would they do this to someone that they like? Well, simply because they get the reaction. Whether it's from the creator or other people in the chat. Kind of like that kid who was in your class and would always talk back to the teacher and say rude things. And three That's people true. would laugh what everyone else thinks. This kid is so fucking annoying. Thousands of those kids are in live stream chats. But it seems like these streamers want that toxicity in their chats. Take this streamer by the name of Deller, for example. He will stream for hours and leave the text-to-speech on knowing damn well the messages are going to be extremely toxic, racist, and out of control. Sometimes I put Cheeto dust on my Instagram marks. Dude, mods, 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 mods. My stepsister has such a tiny little... This is unfiltered, unmodded harassment. And it can be prevented to some degree. Specific words or sayings can be banned from people being able to protect them. Now I know you get it. You cannot control what other people say and do. There are thousands of commenters partaking in this toxic behavior. If you sat there and tried to ban everyone, you'd lose all your viewers. However, it seems like these streamers are willing to put up with this because one, it's making them money, and two, people are sharing it on social media, which is making them more popping, driving viewers up, and ultimately making them more money. So Aiden, Speed, and other streamers have allowed the chat to make fun of them and bully them whether it's through the chat or through TTS. Because whether you love them or actually don't like them, it's always funny to see someone freak out through a computer screen. 
Yes, that is speed barking when he gets angry. And it's not just these two. Pretty much all live streamers have to deal with keyboard warriors to some degree. It just depends on how you handle it. Some people handle it in a very pleasant and respectable way. Is chat being toxic towards my friends that I choose to play with? Mmm. Over a video game? But the fact is, guys, uh, me and my friends are playing, so I just ask that you guys respect how we want to play. Now, when you handle it in the nice way, that's not fun to watch. I mean, come on, nobody wants to be taught a lesson. It's like I'm listening to my friend's mom discipline, man. I don't want to hear that shit. But when you get angry and start screaming, yeah, that's the good stuff. I don't care! 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 I don't care, dude! You ruined my life! Consistently raging is obviously going to encourage people to push the streamer's limits and try to get them to freak out. Anyone can notice that. So it seems like many streamers allow this to happen because it makes their community happy. Yeah, they're suffering. Nah, that's crazy. Happy. Now remember, for the most part, chat will copy the behavior of the streamer. Who's that? These nuts in your mouth! <laughs> hey, 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 shut the fuck up! Shut your hands up! So if Speed does this to other people, the chat will inevitably do it back to him. The only problem is, he may not be in the mood for that. It's kind of like Speed and many other streamers are okay with toxicity as long as it's when they decide. Every single one of you know that people that people that tweet at me and say Rachel and Soft and Elden and all this. I pray that you guys experience what I experience, bro. But when the chat tries to control what the streamer does, that's when they freak out. I guess the only real way to combat this is to just set the precedent that you aren't taking any shit from the chat. Like from day one, you have to be kind of like the dictator. I'm doing what I want, and if you don't like it, then leave. But that doesn't make for a strong community. Communities are about sharing and working together and collaboration. So when you build a toxic community, and they want you to bully someone on the internet today, but you don't want to, now you're the one that's going to get bullied. Because they need to let off some steam. Then again, you could argue that these freakouts aren't even real. Maybe. Oh, it's been brought to here thing. Um, genetically predisposed. I want to react to what, what Speed going to say. That's what I want. Maybe some streamers actually don't care. They just have rage moments because the viewers like it. And the chat thinks they have the control. But it's really the streamer who's giving them what they want. Making the streamer in control the whole time. Which would be even more of a 600 IQ growth strategy. So let me make this clear because it isn't obvious. There's a difference between viewers and chat. As a streamer myself, I know that about 70-80% to 80 of the people watching are not typing in the chat. The overwhelming majority of the people who watch streamers don't participate in chat. I'd be willing to bet that most viewers... Viewers also get really mad when their favorite streamer is being controlled or freaking out at the keyboard warriors. That's like if you're watching a movie and one guy won't stop talking, so the manager comes in and stops the whole movie just to deal with that one person. That's right, annoying. It's a little different, but you get what I'm saying there. Because the streamer yeah. doesn't know how the viewers are feeling. They can only gauge it based on what they read in the comments. So if they see a wall of elves, that's only 15% of the people. Maybe the rest of the people actually like what they're doing. But these things start to weigh heavily on a streamer. Aiden is a great example of a person who openly welcomed the toxicity from the chat because of the financial gain and popularity it brought him. I think he actually liked being the butt of the joke while he was rising to the star he is now. When he was hanging out with rappers, he allowed them to kind of pick on him, and in a charismatic way, he shrugged it off. But when he did this live stream with Blueface, it went a little too far. <laughs> Even DDG had to tell him, you didn't help me out. Why? You grown ass man. You wasn't even, your, you was not existing in your stream. You gotta stand up for yourself. You can't be that with you. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you gotta be a man. Like. But that stream went mega viral. It was on every rap media outlet all over TikTok and YouTube. It arguably got him to Rolling Loud and in various lyrical Lemonade music videos. I mean, just a little bit of bullying ultimately allowed him to shine brighter than ever. But again, this takes its toll on you. 
Now we see a more real side of him. There's only so much you can deal with before you need to take a break. It doesn't matter how much money you're making. He's talked about quitting streaming multiple times, and I'm not sure That's if it's clickbait or not. And it seems like every other week, people push I show speed to his limits, which end up with him crying on stream, crying in a video, shaking out of pure frustration and anger over the way his chat treats him. Unfortunately for speed, this won't stop happening unless he stops encouraging that behavior and also partaking in that behavior. I mean, at some point, you got to say enough is enough. Almost all streamers do have that breaking point, the point where they cannot allow this negativity or toxicity to control them anymore. Most of the time, their viewership drops when they either take a break or make it obvious they won't be dealing with it anymore. It's not like they fall off or lose all their viewers. That's they still crazy. have a huge fan base. That strong core fan base has already been built, and the monetary benefit from that is still fruitful. Which makes it seem like encouraging toxic behavior, allowing yourself to get bullied, freaking out and raging often, and getting pushed to your limits while your sanity is almost completely lost is the ultimate live streamer marketing strategy. Then when you wheel it back, mature a bit, I guess, and make it very obvious that you aren't allowing the chat to be toxic anymore, all of these keyboard demons go away because they can't control you anymore. And you end up with a very stable, consistent, positive community that wants to see you happy and successful. A large enough community to live off of and have a stable live streaming career. Either that, or live streaming will just actually make you go insane. You let me know what you think. The official nah. Patrick DC water bottle is now available on my website, patricksdc.store. They will arrive before Christmas if you cop one, and they're about 50% sold out already. W marketing. W marketing. See, I want to see what Speed going to say, though. Like, let's watch the one with Speed. Yeah, let's watch this one, bro. Over the last two months, I've lost about 20 pounds, which blows my mind. After three months, I've actually lost... I want to see what Speed going to say. Live streaming has always had a culture of toxicity, whether it's coming from the streamer. You ugly ass. Rowdy donated one pound and seventy nine pence to Super Chat for the audience. Right now. Twitch, being the largest <laughs> platform for live streaming, grew 83% right in 2020 because of everyone stuck at home. Other live streaming platforms had big growth during this time as well. And a number of streamers have become millionaires during this time. But in order to make those millions, there's a bit of a sacrifice they have to make. My name is Patrick TC. Make sure you're drinking water while you're watching this video. In 2021, Aiden Ross and I Show Speed became two of the biggest streamers on the internet. By the way, Speed streams on YouTube. Both streamers have somewhat similar styles, being an average guy streaming and chatting to their audience in their bedroom, while occasionally playing video games or reacting to other content. Also, a big part of Aiden, Speed, and many other streamers' content is reading TTS messages. TTS stands for text-to-speech, and it's when viewers Facts. pay a certain amount of money and a robot voice will read their message they type to the streamer I'm and to the saying, audience. You know, so what's all the hype about? Well, things can get out of control pretty quickly. Okay, so maybe right off the bat you're thinking this is fake, and I might agree with you, but honestly, I don't know. Because a lot of the times it seems like these creators are being controlled by their chat. Why am I, why am I not loving my own chat, bro? It just makes me like not want to. Chat, do y'all love me, bro? Y'all love me, man? Seriously. He's asking them right now. Y'all love me, man? Seriously, bro, y'all love me? But yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. See a lot of yes. In a lot of yeses. Some no's, bro. It's true. You were just coming out when I was reacting to this MK video. That's very interesting. But it can get even worse. I say you're really inspirational. I am. I look up to all just playing you bald headed midget fuck. Stop calling me that! You would imagine that most of the people watching these streamers are fans. So why would they do this to someone that they like? Well, simply because they get the reaction. Whether it's from the creator or other people in the chat. Kind of like that kid who was in your class and would always talk back to the teacher and say rude things. And three people would laugh, but everyone else thinks this kid is so fucking annoying. Thousands of those kids are in live stream chat. But it seems like these streamers want that toxicity in their chats. Take this streamer by the name of Deller, for example. He will stream for hours and leave the text-to-speech on 
knowing damn well the messages are going to be extremely toxic, racist, and out of control. Sometimes I cut Cheeto dust on my and brown on Pacific. Dude, mods, 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 mods. My stepsister has such a tight little. This is unfiltered, what? unmodded harassment. And it can be prevented to some degree. Specific words or sayings can be banned from people being able to type them. Now I know no. you get it. You cannot control what other people say and do. There are thousands of commenters partaking in this toxic behavior. If you sat there and tried to ban everyone, you'd lose all your viewers. However, Facts. it seems like these streamers are willing to put up with this because one, it's making them money, and two, people are sharing it on social media, which is making them more popping, driving viewers up, and ultimately making them more money. So Aiden, Speed, and other streamers have allowed the chat to make fun of them and bully them. Whether it's through the chat or through TV. I allow the chat. chat, I, chat I allow y'all to make fun of me. Like, yes, because whether you love them or actually don't like them, it's always funny to see someone freak out through a computer screen. <laughs> yes, that is speed barking when he gets angry. And it's not just these two. Pretty much all live streamers have to deal with keyboard warriors to some degree. It just depends on how you handle it. Some people handle it in a very pleasant what? and respectful so way. Tell yo, so I tell y'all, yo. So I tell y'all, you already watched this? Nah, I didn't watch this, chat. I never. So I, 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 so I tell y'all, yo, chat, call me a fucking shotgun barrel nose. Yo, chat, call me the. I said, get out of here, bro. <laughs> Except towards my friends that I choose to play. You allow mm -hmm. I allow y'all that ass the f out of here, bro. Mm -hmm. Like look, see look, like no like bro now. You know what? Like look, see look. Then y'all spam shot like like so like look like get the f out of here, bro. Over a video game? But the fact is guys, uh, me and my friends are playing, so I just ask that you guys respect to how we want to play. Bro. And when you handle it in the nice way, that's not fun to watch. I mean, come on, nobody wants to be taught a lesson. It's like I'm listening to my friends. Just be freaking out already. Me, and I don't want to hear that shit. When you get angry and start screaming, yeah, that's good stuff. I don't care! I don't want to I don't want to Just be reacted to that. I never do. <laughs> you lying. That's, that's crazy. Right there. Don't care, dude! You ruined my life! No, that's a, uh, Consistently raging that is obviously going to encourage people to push the streamers' limits and try to get them to freak. Anyone can notice that. So it seems like many oh, streamers what? Are Nigga, so, what, ha allow this to happen for? because it makes their community happy. Yeah. Their stuff from Matt, I'm Frank, Matt's makes Matt. other people happy. Okay. Now remember, for the most part, chat will copy the behavior of the streamer. Who's that? He's not to the mouth! Hey, hey, shut up! Shut your ass up! So if Speed does this to other people, the chat will inevitably do it back to him. The only problem- Is that true? That clip was funny as fuck, though, bro. I'm gonna go back. I can lie, I can do it. Yo, I don't know how speedy you're acting to this, yo. Yo, no! This one. Hey, 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 shut up! So if speed does this, it's freak out control the whole time, which would be even more of a 600 IQ growth strategy. Also, let me make this clear because it isn't obvious. There's a difference between viewers and chat. As a streamer myself, I know that about 70 to 80% of the people watching are not typing in the deal with that one person. All right, it's a little different, but you get what I'm saying there. Because the streamer doesn't know how the viewers are feeling. They can only gauge it based on what they read in the comments. How do y'all feel right now, man? How do y'all like Jimmy feel? How do y'all feel, chat? Like, what life right now? How do you feel? If they see a wall of L's, that's only 15% of the people. Maybe the rest of the people. Oh, oh my whole screen is spinning on me, bro. I don't get it. So, 15, so, hold on, wait. I never thought about that, though. But wait, chat, hold on, wait. The people, like, I know there's people who watch my stream and don't type, right? But the niggas who do type just spin them ill. So it makes it seem like my whole stream spamming it. But in reality, a few percent of the people in my stream spam. Like, look, like, this nigga named Speed is a monkey. Like, look, like, bro, like, look at this nigga for it. Like, chat, this is a huge example right here, bro. Like, Damn. The video is literally, like, bro, like, like, the video is literally, like, showing you, bro. Nah, that's crazy. Like, the video is, like, really showing you, bro. 
And this is a huge example of why speed is a monkey. So lucky I can't find your channel, bro. Like, I mean, it just shows you, like, 